Howdy everyone, it's Agatha88, and welcome back to Undertale. So, we already fought Asgore. So, to get the true pacifist ending, we need to go back, basically. So that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of a long way back, but at the same time it's not. It's not like you have to travel to the whole underground. We're almost there. Just a little bit farther. And there we go. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your ideal. Human, you have to do it for something for me. Uh, please? I'm just not one of the piracies. See ya, punk. So, we need to go see what Undyne wants us to do. And I still have all of this stuff fate on me. So, yeah. I have a ton of healing items. Careful ride. Where will we go today? Then we're off. Car. All this stuff is R, really? Time to go to and we're back at Snowden. We haven't seen this way since so forever. Uh, this way. There they are. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh. Put some of those away. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I I need to deliver this letter to Doctor Alphys. Oh, huh? why did I do it myself? Um, well, it, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so out to tell you. Hotline sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Oh my god, I want to freaking kill you. Oh god. <laughs> okay. You tried to open the letter, but it's been just so tightly. You need a chainsaw in order to open it. Yeah, you can't actually open it, but you can toss it. Drive a lot, get for a ride. Where we go today? No laugh. So, yeah. <laughs> you can literally toss it and go back to Undying and she freak out that you lost it. Drive a lot, the water is really dry today. I'm against the time travel.
Oh, right. The door has no mail slot. Slide the, slide the letter under. I slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it, it should kind of stall me, isn't it? Wait a second. I don't remember what my alchemist voice was, and I'm kind of hurting my voice doing that. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. So passionately too. You know what? Okay. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of. Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, oh, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I gotta give you items to do a breakfast statistic first. That means you a chance of successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, still not know yet. I'm prepared. I have been stuck out ideas and in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some wire cooking for your skills. Your, uh, skills. Uh, well, how about this magical fairy pill kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just have a date. Dating starts. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Whoop. Uh, do you like anime? Hey, you, me too. Actually, <laughs> like, I press that real fast, and I. Hey, let's go somewhere. Uh, where's a good place to go on a date? I got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. The garbage dump. On a date, of course. Here we are. This is where Undyne and then I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Uh, she's really... Uh... Oh no. That's all over there. I can't get everything on a date with you. Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no. Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized that you didn't do that thing. It might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Have you at least seen her? Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be rather going on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make it feel better. Well, it sounds even really worse when I really like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. I'm not a person I um, really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you are, um, cool, but I'm dying. She's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. I thought I'm the one who was talking about this, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies. She thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? It's best to tell the truth. The truth? 
but am I dealing with that? She'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie with both people are happy. Or choose when neither of us are. They say to you and so, but I don't want to fight who myself is. I will just do whatever, whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people want to choose on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I try to undying the truth? Like, you don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? So play it. Obviously, I so play it. Let's so play it. So, low play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undying? Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, undying. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, glad to hear it. Uh, so I like to um talk to you about something. Um, you see, I I I I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I I oh forget it. I'm dying. I I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and, and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like tell me that you you love in that good similar way. I'm dying. I can't take this any longer. I'm not really in love with you. Pull me, I'm dying. Pull me. <laughs> What did he just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, well, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing at you. What? I, I mean, I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that TV was like scientifically important. Really, I just like to use it to make ice cream. And the TV history books I keep reading, those are just so pretty comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I did the was to do a book on the phone, I, I wish it didn't both in you again. I'm a gentleman since I might... Oh, goodness. Alphas. I, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphas. But I, I, I really think you need, okay? Alphas. Shh. Shh. Alphas. I, I think you need to, I guess. But you gotta realize. Most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching TV cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're in a mood of it. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. A hundred percent and maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Also, I want to help you from happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. You're gonna change me? What? Me? Oh god. <laughs> nah, I'm not good for pirates to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to die the hundred laps! Reading about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anyway, it's real, right? So, is anime real? What do you guys think? No, no, I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I could survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Yeah. If you thought- If you said anime was real, shame on you. You should tell the truth that anime was fake.
Wait, wait, wait. You're also mutual friends. Alpha's and my fitness are training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel sorry and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. <laughs> I kind of wonder if my survivors are like... The faces he was making was Flowey telling him to do that, telling to tell us that. Uh. Oh, I picked Snowden, didn't I? Oops. Uh, that's all I get for not looking what I pick. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna read this. I'm gonna annoy China. Do that anyway. Hotlands. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to Hotlands. Oh, okay, I'm not reading this because I just want to get there so we can, like, get down to where we need to go. And then the video ends. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magic and make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. Is this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. If we don't ever hear from me again, you want to know the truth. Enter the door to the north of this note. Y'all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. The elevator crashed. <laughs> Welcome to the True Lab. Are we doing that in the next episode? I see I got to the save point first. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from the, what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. We're extracting the soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, Souls of most monsters appear immediately upon death. Before I can make a monster so last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to pursue after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. So. It's the Chew Lab. And we will do the Chew Lab in the next part. So, thank you guys for watching and remember to stay determined. Goodbye guys.